My name is Yuvanesh. Uh, I'm from uh, Divya Landmark, uh, uh, from uh, near KVIAC. So today I'm going to do a bubble experiment. Have you ever like uh, blue, uh, played with bubbles while washing hands? Uh, so I, I'm going to this, uh, to make this solution. I added a half cup of dishwash liquid to this bowl uh, and. Uh, added uh, two tablespoons of sugar and hot water then uh, poured it here and mixed it so and now i'm going to try like a few thin liquids and a few thick liquids and see which and all pop the bubble and which do not so first i will do with the thick liquids so i'm trying it with coconut oil Coconut oil pops the bubble. Uh, so now I'll try it with another thick liquid. This also pops the bubble. The uh, honey also pops the bubble. Now I'll try it with two thin, thin liquids. like for example salt solution it does not pop the bubble uh, the wind is blowing a little bit now I'll try it with uh, lemon juice it does not pop the bubble so uh, like this a bubble is formed uh, by three things soap, water and air uh, the inner surface of the bubble is filled with air surrounded by two layers of what, uh, or soap molecules and matching one layer of water molecules the thin layer of water molecules is formed because the water molecules hold each other and pull together tightly this is called surface tension thank you uh, I was uh, first of all uh, excited to come here. Um, I uh, had so much fun here and I learned new things. Thank, that's it. My name is Anvita and I am from Pune. Um, uh, uh, I experienced that it was a fun thing to do. Um, uh, mm, I cannot tell how. How you excited about Raman hours? Uh, there are uh, many facts about uh, many facts about a uh, project science like that. That is why I liked. Okay. Okay, you can explain. What? You can explain your model. This is anemometer. It works with the help of table fan. It is used to calculate the speed of the wind by its pressure. The term anemometer comes from the word animus, which means wind in Greek. The first anemometer was developed in 1450. So, this is made. We have to attach two straws. Uh, sorry, we have to attach two cups to one straw like this, and again for this, and again one uh, like this only. Then we have to place it here so that uh, so it it should be uh, placed uh, inserted here so in the center so it can spin now the pencil is the vertical shaft for this model and for this experiment we will need uh, five cups two straws one button one pin and a pencil
move ahead a little more it will go at the means it will rotate slowly but at the level 3 it moves really fast but we can also control it by the uh, the distance between the anemometer like this So I'm Madhura Ss from Vidya Shilp Academy, Bangalore itself, and I'm pretty excited for Raman Awards as uh, it's a place where I can explore science. And I mean, I enjoy making the models, the variations, and I understand a lot more things. And finally, I'm really excited for the awarding ceremony, so that if I win, I'm going to be really proud of myself. Yeah. Uh, do I speak about this? Do I speak about my experiment? So my experiment is a siphon based on siphon action. So first, you have an apparatus of a cut bottle with a straw attached, and then you also have a fat straw sealed at the top, which has two V notches. So to start off, you have to pour water. This is coloured water. um so here's how you pour it and you can see the water is leaking down until the straw level straw surface and then you attach you add the or you cap the fat straw no and add little more water you can see that the water is leaking down it the siphon has started once again this is because when you first add the straw the cap the straw and add more water a few drops of water falls down through the normal straw and when that happens since air can't enter partial vacuum is created and that pulls up water was around it and since it's connected with the water inside the fat straw and since the water inside the fat straw is connected with the water in the bottle uh, it and it, it, it ends up pulling the all the water so that's the reason the siphon started again this can be done through bottles uh, a big smaller bottles as well so i've used this with the same kind of notches the bigger the bottle size you have the more water will be left out but then the speed of the water gushing down will be higher yeah. now you can see that um, there is hardly a few drops of water left thank you uh my name is ahan damle i'm from mumbai and um i think raman awards is a very interesting competition um because we have to innovate Uh, new things and really use our brains. Uh, so I really like this experience. Uh, and my model is an aerofoil. It's based on Bernoulli's principle. Uh, so Bernoulli's principle states that when the speed of a fluid increases, its pressure simultaneously decreases, and vice versa. So when the speed of a fluid decreases, the pressure increases. So now here is my aerofoil, and as you can see, it's curved on top. and flat on bottom so if i use the blow dryer to blow some air on it it gets lifted up and uh, as you can see even if i take the uh, i'm not holding the head dryer here at the bottom i'm holding it in the center but it's still moving up and this happens because this um, surface is curved so air from here moves faster and because of bernoulli's principle low pressure is created here but air over here moves slower and high pressure is created and because there is high pressure over here uh, when air is blown it gets lifted up like this and this same principle is used in airplanes and the shape of the wings of airplanes is like this and that helps airplanes to fly